morning. Good, very, very good morning. We're at Condal Ferries, Paul Harbour, uh, day trip to Guernsey. From Paul? Across, yeah, from Paul, yeah. Thomas is with us, Pank is on the camera today. Uh, it's 30 quid return. I'll see you soon.
we're in Guernsey, lovely journey across. Uh, we've only got five hours here, but we don't mind, 30 pound return. Should have been six hours, but they changed the return boat time. So 10 minutes walk off the boat, well five minutes walk off the boat really, it's not really, we ain't got there yet, but it's probably boat to the town I'd say it's 15 minute walk. Go and find some of that, some lunch and uh, some couple of ice cold beers. I suppose so, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, best Western Hotel, though. Christie's Auction House. Oh, yeah. Very posh looking. Chop chop. I love a little road like this. Huh? I love the little roads like this, beautiful, isn't it? It's nice. I love these, you know, it's just oh, so nice. cobbled streets now, yeah. You know what? Um, It goes very similar with all the little cut-offs and all that, you yeah. know? Well, they've done each other's nicer. Yeah, uh, Jersey's bigger, isn't it? Well, nicer. I know they're both the same, really. It's hard, yeah. to, it's hard to say about spending a lot of time here, isn't it? The what? I said it's hard to say about spending yeah. a lot of time. Yeah. Well, that's something I at the end of the day. Because obviously, we when we were in Jersey, um, we were there for a couple of nights, so we used the bus and went around the whole island to visit different beaches on the island and different places on the island, you know, the harbours and castles and stuff. Just here for the day, you limit what you can see, isn't it? Um, built in 1822, something up there, look. Do you want a picture or a video of it? Just a picture, man. Okay. So we're at the Terrace Garden Cafe, which is Thai and English food. I will post a, a link in the description of where it is. It's right next to the harbour. Okay, okay babe, what have you got? สวัสดีค่ะวันนี้เราอยู่ที่กาแฟนะคะอ๋อ oh, nice.
So we stopped in the uh, Rose and Crown to have a pint. The, the, Rose, the Rose and Crown is actually cost more than the place we sat just now with a fantastic view. But they have got the Liberation Longboard Lager on Liberation Brewery, which was very nice. I remember that from Jersey. Quick look at the pub, it's only a little bit small. There is no beer garden in this pub, but they do serve food. Again, I'll leave a link in the description of where this place is. It's just along the road from uh, the Garden Cafe we in just now. So I don't think there's any chance of swimming out there today. The tide's right a bit far out for that. Trouble of just having five hours here is you don't really get a chance to visit any beaches. There's some nice beaches in Guernsey, but uh, they're the other side of the island where you have to get on the bus. Definitely come out here and spend a few nights, I think. Uh, do a tour around like we did in Jersey. Very similar island. But yeah, it's nice. We'll have a, definitely come out and have a look around again. Would have been nice to have a little paddle on the water. You going for a swim, are you, bro? You going for a swim, are you? Yeah, swim and uh, with the dolphins. Oh, okay. And the great white sharks. <laughs> yeah, so we couldn't find anywhere to get on the beach, so um, surprise, surprise, we stopped in the pub. It's, um, there's a place around there called the Foresters Arms, and we're stuck in the uh, La Pieta Hotel, if you can see the sign. Nice little bar inside, but um, the view's better from here. I'll just pan round. Well, not the main road, but yeah, that's a good view. That man with a tray of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely man a good view. With beer. Man with a tray of beer. Oh, yeah. huh? This it's is it. This is a speciality of the house, gin and tonic. And this is another speciality, the rum and coke. And this one is the ordinary order, but it's very delicious as well. A little beer. This, this, this is Thomas, he's former world number 65 in the tennis <laughs> rankings. Yeah, and I, um, I still he, play. He still plays tennis. Only occasionally. Um, he's more of a tennis I, coach. And you know, it's nice to, on such a nice day, you get to hydrate as well. Ooh, it's yeah. nice to sit down, I tell you, after a long walk, because we walked miles and miles. Uh, we've done, we've done, you know, literally we burned about 1,000 calories each not together each and um, yeah now in a shade and it's just it's marvelous absolutely fantastic a little beauty you know that's what we call it uh, where, where did we meet Thomas where did we first meet we met in the Philippines and then we went from there to we the Puka Puk bar we met, no no we met in the Thai restaurant in the Philippines Thai restaurant in El Nido. and then but then I mean all I remember is the Puka bar and then again Puka bar and then a little bit Bournemouth and then right. San Miguel light. Don't forget the San Miguel light. Very, very light. It was very light around the edges. Yeah. It was beautiful. And again, you know, pleasure to be here. And uh, God bless. God bless you all. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, uh, please subscribe. Uh, like our videos. If you don't like them, we don't care. <laughs> we do care. <laughs> no, we do. <laughs> No, no, each for everybody else, isn't it? Each for its own, isn't it? But this is just, we just, we just us, we do what we do, and this is how we enjoy, well, you know, we do day trips, and this is what we like to do. We like to come out and try new things. The boat trip was £30 return for the day. We we're only in, we're only in Guernsey till half past five this evening. Oh, I'm okay, thank you. It's only a short boat trip. I'm not really sweet. And we get back to Bournemouth about half past nine this evening, so um No, back. half past nine we get back to Paul this evening, so uh, happy days. But yeah. Definitely come back and spend um spend the night here maybe. Or two nights, isn't it? What do you think? Night or two nights? Night one enough. One night. Yeah. No, no, if you do one night you 
you don't really get a full day to do the buses, yeah, do you? you need to do two nights. You need to do two nights. You get a full day to see the island doing the buses. Go across that island over there, because there was a boat going across that island over there. And, um, yeah, definitely. Cheers. So, yeah, cheers, bro. Let me get me beer. Cup and cup. Thank you very much. That's it, go explore. <laughs> what time's the next boat? <laughs> Thomas, what time's the boat coming? <laughs> <laughs> Want some music? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see that on here, but he's mm -hmm. he's a very poor attempt at pole dancing. <laughs> <laughs> My zoom's not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's it out, okay, I might chuck you a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> Tide's right out. Or oh, someone swimming over there. Just swimming out. I don't know if you can see him. See him swimming over there? Yeah. They've gone past the swimming boys. The tide's definitely not coming back in again anytime soon. Maybe at five, six. Yeah. Well, our boat's going to struggle to get in here. It's like Jurassic Park, isn't it? Look at it. Yeah. Very much reminds me of being in Jersey. When it's like this. So that's the main town bit over there and the boat leaves from over there to go back to Paul. Uh, we've got to be back on the boat or well, we've got to check in in an hour's time to get back on the boat to go back to Paul. So we'll have a wander down there in a minute, go to the shop and uh, maybe get a sandwich to eat on the boat, I don't know. You can't take any beer on the boat unfortunately, but they do have duty free. Duty free was... Uh, 200 fags were 55 pound. Two litres of rum was 32 pound. A little bit cheaper than Asda. You right down there, bro? Yes, mate. Imagine you're right down there. Hang on. Someone's going, they've got a car here, look. i have to take the jet ski out for a whiz out on the jet ski. Maybe their jet ski to fucking Jersey. Oh, excuse me, to uh, Jersey. Jersey's that way somewhere. Over there. You've got to have a 4x4 to do this manoeuvre, aren't you? Fucked that up, didn't it? Oh, there we go. So once he jumps the jet ski off, he has to go back over there, take his car back, I suppose, and then come back and get the jet ski later. How does it work? Like Hard work to go out from the jet ski for an hour, isn't it? Got to be somewhere else on the island you can drop his jet ski off. Oh, the little smell. The sea smell. Smell of what? The smell sea. Of sea. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, babe, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm not, I'm pissed off. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh -huh. So we've been sat in a sweat box down there. They told us to get there an hour early, only for the boat to leave to an hour late. No information of why it's late, nothing. Anyway, the bar's not open yet. The boat should have left at half six. It's night, it's half seven. Should have left at half seven originally. It got put back to half six. It's leaving at half seven anyway. Probably leave later than half seven. Probably leave at eight o'clock at this rate, yeah. See what time if we get back to Bournemouth. We might get a taxi. Might get the night bus, bruv. What are you running? Might have to run. Run. No, I have to get a taxi, isn't it? Anyway, nothing's open where well, the cafe's open until you get some sweaty cheeseburgers for six pounds. So the ferry left an hour and a half late, just going up, get a bit of sunset, let's have a look. A bit windy up here as well. Driver's cane in it. Thomas! Bro! Thomas! people up here. Rough. 